Hi everyone! This week's feature is a big improvement from the 2021 version of Simulix that many of you were waiting for. You can now overlay data on your predictions in the Exploration tab and let's see how it works. Look at the new Exploration tab in Simulix. We have now a section here called Data Overlay. It can be used at the very beginning of your modeling workflow to explore models and parameters that could fit your data the best. It can also be used in the second phase when you have already developed a good model and want to explore new scenarios such as new treatments to keep in mind the original data used to fit the model. And finally, if you have access to new data, the data overlay can be used to compare your predictions to the new measured data set. I will quickly guide you through these three use cases. I'm now at the beginning of model development. So I have already explored my data and I want to explore models to see which model I'm going to use. I have a data set that I have explored in that explorer. It shows the PK response of several individuals to a neural administration of warfarin. What would be a good starting model to fit this data? I can explore models and parameters in Simulix by creating a new project and by loading a model from the library. I load here a standard PK model with oral absorption, a single compartment and linear elimination. In the exploration tab, I can check what the prediction would be for an individual with these default parameters, which are located here, and without treatment. So I will quickly create a 100 mg treatment and add it to the exploration group. And this way, when I apply, I can see the response of the model for these parameters and to 100 mg oral absorption of warfarin. Now I want to answer the question, what would be a good model to fit my data? So I will overlay my data set on this prediction. I go to data overlay and I browse the data file. So you see that my data is tagged as in other applications of Monolith Suite. I can change this tagging if necessary and I click on accept. And by default now, the data for all individuals is overlaid on my prediction. So the data display is interactive. So if I hover on a dot, I can see all the points related to the same individual. I can display the data as dots or as lines or both. And the data can be filtered by all the categorical covariates included in the data set. So for example, here I can display all female. I can also select the first two individuals who received a 100 milligram treatment. So I can check here in the data set that IDs one and two received 100 milligram. I select them, they are displayed on the plot. So now I would like to set a log scale on Y axis to view the elimination phase better. So I can set the log scale like this and I can change my limits for the Y axis. I can uh, get the feeling of the impact of each parameters on these model predictions by using the sliders. For example, I can move uh, the slider for the volume to decrease the prediction. I can also change the elimination parameter. So here I see it should be lower. So this until I find a good value. So until I manage to fit better my, my data. And uh, now uh, I see I have some uh, quite some good values to fit uh, the data for these individuals. And now uh, changing the dose amount for the treatment, I can see what would be the response of this individual to a new dose amount. So for example, here, instead of having uh, 100 milligram, I can have 50. 
And you see, uh, these individuals would probably respond like this to a 50 milligram amount of warfarin. So this exploration is similar to what we do in the check initial estimates tab in Monolix, that is here. However, in Monolix, the data set is fixed, including the treatments. And the goal is to pursue a population approach. Here in Simulix, you can explore models, uh, parameters, data, treatments in a more modular manner. And this way, you can get a better feeling of the impact of each of those on your simulation. So we are going to move to the second case. So imagine now that you have developed a model in Monolix and you want to explore new scenarios with this model. I have a Monolix project with a good model for the warfarin PK and PD data. Let me import it into Simulix. When I import it into Simulix, the original data is already loaded here in the data overlay section. The prediction now is based on the population parameter values estimated in Monolix and treatment information from the original data set. The data does not appear yet on the predictions because I need to tell Simulix how to map the PK and the PD data to the predictions. So I'm going to map the data one to the concentration, the PK concentration and data two to the PD response. I can also focus on a single individual by plotting the predictions based on the EBEs, so the empirical bias estimates, which are the individual parameters estimated in Monolix. The individual that is simulated appears here, and I can decide to switch to another individual and plot only the data for this individual, clicking on link to data selection. This way, now when I browse through the individual fits, I see the same individual fits as I would see in Monolix. However, what I can do here that I cannot do in Monolix is predicting for this specific individual how it would respond to a new dosing regimen. For example, I can create a new regular treatment. So I can create a regular treatment of uh, 50 milligram every hour. Let's put three doses. And I can add it to a new exploration group. Now I see how this individual 11 responds to the two different treatments. So the one in the original data and the new treatment, which is a multi-dose regimen. Now imagine that we decide to perform a trial for this new dosing regimen and thus obtain some new data. So this is the third situation I mentioned at the beginning of this video. As we have new individuals, I will make a prediction for a typical individual with the population parameters estimated in Monolix, assuming that the population in the new trial is similar to the previous one. Moreover, I only want to see now the new dosing regimen, so I will remove the previous one. And I only have PD data, so I will focus on the PD prediction only. I can check now how the new data I have for PD will stand compared to this prediction by unloading the original data and loading the validation data set. So I can tag again this uh, data set because Y2 is not recognized automatically as an observation. And I remove the previous filter on ID11 to view all the individuals at once. I can guess this way that my model has a good predictive power because it was able to make a good prediction for this response that was not part of the training data set. To conclude this feature of the week, whether you are still exploring your data, whether you already have a good model or whether you are in the validation phase, Simulix can always guide you towards the next step with its new feature in the exploration tab. Having a look at data and models together with interactive exploration of parameters, individuals and treatments 
is the best way to get an intuition of what is happening before committing to the next long modeling or simulation step. Have a nice week.